Hey, it's Gigi the Gadget Goddess. I'm excited about today's unboxing because I always tell people if you want something, get it. That's being said, let's get to unboxing. This is not sponsored by Mint Mobile. I'm getting ready to be tritextual. I'm getting ready to carry three devices at the same time. When purchasing on Swapper from time to time, they offer you these three free months of service from Mint. And a lot of people don't click that box and say they want the SIM sent to them. It costs you nothing. Three months of free service, they send you the SIM, it works for three months, and then they cut it off. Or you decide to continue the service. It's totally up to you. So that's how we're going to review these devices at the same time. Let's just get to the unboxing, okay? I have wanted this phone for a long time. It took me a while to get my hands on one. I did not want to spend three, four thousand dollars on a folding device. This phone came out in March of last year, so in essence, it's a year old. Do I care? No. The seller said he would include the receipt from where he bought it, but I also see screen protectors in here. This is charger and headphones. Headphones don't appear to ever have been opened or used. This is charger for overseas. Don't need that. This should be some ejection tool. There was not one in here. And instructions. And this is charging cable. I had ordered another screen protector. That one looked like it's been through it. It does not have the case, which I had already ordered another case anyway. They're just transferring everything from this phone to that one. I just took this in and installed another screen protector because the one that was on the phone was driving me nuts. I will be using this OneJoy case that I used with my Z Phone 2. I will leave a link in the description for it as well. I have bubbles. This is comparable to the same screen protector I put on the Z Fold 2. If you wanna watch that video, I'll tag it here. Same exact procedure. These bubbles should go away in the next 24, 48 hours. I will show you a picture and show you how it came out. I do want to show you how to put Google Play services on this device. This has come a long way from where it was when I installed Google Play services on my Mate 30 Pro. It's very easy. You don't need the dongles, etc., like you did for that device. That being said, let's get started. I am going to link you where you can get this developer software to install so you can get Google Play services. It is in the description below. It should be one of the first links. All I did was text it to myself. It is an APK. There is an ad. It has downloaded. I'm gonna click here and open it. I'm gonna allow it and I'm gonna install it. So it's currently installing. It's installed successfully. And I'm gonna start using DualSpace. So as you see, Dual Space is now on my phone. The Play Store is here. Wasn't that painless? It's gonna ask me to sign in. Let me sign in right quick. Let's install all of our apps. So there's Gmail. Go back into Dual Space. YouTube, of course. I'm telling you in all the ways I've had to work around this, this has been the easiest way. I hope this helps some people out. I'm kinda just going through Downloading apps that were on my other phone. So I'll come back and check in with you guys in a couple days after I get everything stable. My phone set up, my ringers. Right now I'm still in factory mode. This is gonna be an interesting ride. The next day. The last version of what I showed you to get Google Play stuff on your device wasn't as efficient as the one I ended up using. I'm gonna leave that in the video because that'll work for some people. And G Space is what I found to work best for me. The way I achieve updating my apps and whatnot is to go to uh, Google. You do a search for Play Store. And when you get to the Play Store app, you open that up and you're at your regular Play Store where you can go into my apps and games. And it'll show your recent updates and anything you need to update. So it works like the Play Store would on any other device. 
I have not looked for any apps in the Huawei store. I have looked for apps in Pedal. Pedal Search is like another location you can find various apps that are in the Google Play Store that most people with Huawei devices can't get. No updates there, but as you see, all my Disney Plus, Prime Now, and some other things. Between those two apps, I've been able to get every app that I would need for this phone. Netflix was a struggle for my Black Shark. It's fine on here. Another struggle was Disney Plus. Again, it's fine here. I can have YouTube Studio like everybody else, or I can have YouTube Studio like I'm on desktop. Typically, I don't run launchers. I didn't like the setup with Huawei Home. If you pull out from the side, I have my favorite apps stored here on the side. Sorry about the sun. I can multitask with the side apps just like any other you know, bigger screen phone. I can pull out pedal search. And so if I run out of space out here, anything that let's say I cover up, it goes right back over here to on the side and I can pull it back out if I need to. I can make these, you know, big screen and I can put them back. My favorites over here, kind of like the edge on Samsung. I'm minimalist, so I keep these apps at the bottom All my YouTube-ish is in a folder. Hey, it's Gigi the Gadget Goddess. And initially, I thought I'd be able to do this unboxing like any other phone unboxing, but this isn't like any other phone. This isn't like any other phone that most of my subscribers and watchers would experience or have the opportunity to experience. I need to do it differently, right? Right. I was known as the import queen before I started doing YouTube. I've often imported Xiaomi or Huawei or Vivo or whatever tickles my fancy because I always felt like that was more bang for your buck. You got more, more than your dollar's worth than what you get domestically here in the United States. I started to fall in love with these companies and then things happened and the government started to blacklist companies. I have to work a bit harder to get my devices <laughs> and there's a lot of bad information that goes out with these devices and people say, oh, you're not gonna be able to use that. You're being anti-American. So many of the things we use every day aren't American products. I picked up the Huawei Mate XS, a phone I've wanted for a long time, a long, long time, but was not willing to pay $3,000 for. This phone cost me less than my Fold cost. The Fold was retailed at $2,000. I didn't pay $2,000, but that's what it retailed at. This phone retailed at like $3,000, I wanna say. I paid about half of that. It's little brother or big brother, whatever you want to call the newer version of this device, came out or was announced a couple weeks ago. Yes, I have every function you can have on an Android phone on this phone. The only thing that I have not been able to get to work is RCS on messaging app for text. Very few people text my Android number anyway not making an excuse. I'm using the regular text app. I get my messages fine as long as the other party isn't using RCS. I'm not getting their messages, but we talk in other places too. I really hate the fact that I got into the folding area of phones because now I don't want to go back to a plain phone. My iPhone is my iPhone. It's a slab. It's the only way iPhones come right now. If they start to make foldables, I'm sure I'll pick one up because flat phones are boring now. I'm all folded out. I have to bumpers slash cases coming three coming for the Huawei Mate XS you know the screen is on the outside protecting that is a thing and I have replaced the screen protector the original owner I guess never replaced it did not look well at all when I initially did my unboxing I was just like eh, I don't I, I was disappointed phone is good condition phone I'm completely okay with the phone Let's put it that way. One of the most things I'm excited about is getting back into Huawei cameras. I really enjoyed those better than Samsung or even LG. I know a lot of people question imports. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I've been using imports for quite a while now. I was using the launcher that came with the phone. It told me to open the device when not in use. I was like, eh, that's odd. The fold wants to be closed, whereas 
this device wants to stay open. I'm still filling this booger out. I did want to get some content out on it and let people know that it runs with Google Play services just fine. I do not know if things like Samsung Pay or Google Play or things like that work on this because I don't pay with my phone. I know a lot of people are concerned about those things. Has this phone taken my interest away from the Fold phone? The Z Fold 2? Yes, it has. Because it's different, it's a different experience. It's a flip out versus a flip in. It makes me want to use it unfolded more than the Fold did. I would go days without unfolding the Z Fold 2. Whereas with this phone, I feel cheated if I don't fold it out to use it. For some, the better experience is going to be with the Z Fold 2 because you're not going to have a lot of times where you have both of your hands free to use this device. When I want to one hand it, it's definitely a much thinner experience. It's a wider experience. With the mate as well. Let's open these screens up and look at them side by side. And here's your side by side comparison or your side by side. The, the mate is bigger. Both are pretty dim out here in this bright light. But I think the mate is a bit brighter. I don't know if you can see either one of these. I was so far back. But I, thought, I think the mate is brighter than the Samsung. Both are in dark mode. I did brighten this picture up so I will look blown out a little bit on that one. This one I, I pulled just a straight picture. I really do think even though I made this one a brighter picture, the screen is brighter over here on the uh, mate. The Sammy can fit inside of the mate. And this is more or less first impressions. I just wanted to show you, you know, how different they looked and things like that. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. I'm gonna wrap this up by saying it's gonna be a fun little journey for the next three months or so while I have service on the Fold, the Mate, and the iPhone. All the apps were set up on the Z Fold, so it will get the same alerts that this phone gets. Yes, kind of annoying, but we're trying to stay out. I wanna see what alerts I miss what alerts I don't miss and things of that nature. I uh, thank you for dropping by. Let me know what you want to see and I'll give you what I can. Catch you on the next video. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.